I analyzed over 5,500 NAN workflows. Here are the top five nodes that everyone uses. So NAN has 4,738 workflows available on their templates page. I decided to go ahead and download all those workflows. After I downloaded all those workflows, I actually built a script to go through and tell me what the top five most used nodes are. So in order of most used, we have a sticky node, a HTTP node, a set node, a code node, and an if node. Now let's actually see what each of these nodes are on the NA10 canvas. First, we have a sticky node at over 220,000 uses across 5,700 workflows. So that's massive. Next, we have the HTTP node, which is used to place API calls and interact with third-party systems. So using this node, you can connect your workflow into Zendesk for customer support, into Slack for real-time communication, into HubSpot for sales activities, and a bunch of your other favorite third-party tools. Next, we have the set node. The set node is also called the edit fields node. And all you're doing here is defining a variable, then mapping a value to that variable. Next, we have my absolute favorite, which is the code node. The code node actually lets you execute either JavaScript or Python directly within your NAN workflow. This is a great node for processing data. And finally, at three and a half thousand uses, we have the if node. The if node is used for making logical decisions based on statements. This is a very popular way to split out the workflow. If you want to see a deeper dive into these top five nodes, head across to my channel.